Have you ever wondered what blood cancer is and how it affects the human body? Well, let's unravel this together. Blood cancer is a type of malignancy that begins in the bone marrow, which is the soft tissue in the centre of our bones where blood cells are produced. Our blood is composed of three types of cells, red blood cells that carry oxygen, white blood cells that fight infections, and platelets that aid in clotting. In the case of blood cancer, there's an abnormal growth of any of these cell types which disrupts their normal function. This abnormal growth can occur in the blood, bone marrow and even the lymphatic system, a part of our immune system that helps fight off infections and diseases. So, blood cancer is essentially a term for cancers that affect the blood, bone marrow and lymphatic system. Now that we know what blood cancer is, you might be wondering how it develops. Well, let's dive right into it by unravelling the mystery of blood cancer development. It all begins at a cellular level. Each one of our blood cells carries a unique set of instructions called DNA. Sometimes due to various factors, mutations can occur in the DNA of these blood cells. This mutation in turn causes the cells to grow and divide uncontrollably. And voila, this is the first step towards the development of blood cancer. Now you might be thinking, so what if the cells are growing out of control? Well, the problem arises when these abnormal, rapidly dividing cells start to replace the healthy cells in our bone marrow. The bone marrow is like a factory, constantly producing new blood cells to keep our bodies functioning. When these mutated cells take over, they start to crowd out the healthy cells. This leads to a decline in the number of healthy blood cells, causing a range of health problems. In some cases, these rogue cells can even enter the bloodstream and spread to other parts of the body, further complicating the situation. The result? Our bodies are left defenseless, unable to fight off infections or carry oxygen to our tissues. In essence, blood cancer develops when the body's normal blood cell development process goes awry. So, what happens when someone has blood cancer? How does it affect the body, you might ask? Well, let's delve into that. First off, blood cancer can significantly weaken the immune system. Our immune system is like our body's personal security team, always on the lookout for harmful invaders like bacteria and viruses. When blood cancer enters the scene, it's like a mole infiltrating this security team. It takes over the production of white blood cells, the body's primary defenders, creating abnormal cells that can't perform their protective duties. This leaves the body more vulnerable to infections. Next up, blood cancer can lead to anemia and bleeding disorders. The disease can reduce the number of red blood cells leading to anemia, which may cause fatigue, shortness of breath and pale skin. It can also decrease platelet count, which are responsible for clotting, leading to easy bruising, excessive bleeding and slow wound healing. Finally, blood cancer can interfere with the normal functioning of other organs. The cancerous cells can accumulate in various parts of the body, such as the spleen or liver, causing these organs to enlarge and not function properly. This can result in a variety of symptoms, ranging from abdominal discomfort to severe organ damage. As we can see, blood cancer disrupts the body's ability to fight off infection and function normally. Let's recap what we've learned about blood cancer. Blood cancer, a complex disease that develops when the body's blood-forming tissues malfunction, is not to be taken lightly. It starts subtly, often with just minor changes in the body's blood cells. But as it progresses, it can cause severe damage to the body's systems, leading to a range of health complications. We've seen how this illness can disrupt life, hampering the body's ability to fight infection, deliver oxygen and clot blood. Its effects are truly profound, impacting not just the bodily functions, but the overall quality of life. Remember, knowledge is our best defense. The more we understand about blood cancer, its development and its effects, the better equipped we are to fight it. That's a wrap on our journey through the basics of blood cancer. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel, Science and Technology, for more insightful content. Stay curious, keep learning.